Hi, this is Donnie bringing our weekly Bible reading devotional as we finish out Ephesians this week. I want to talk about Ephesians 4 and, and this big question that I think we all have, which is, how do I change these things about myself that, that I don't like, that I know don't honor God, that aren't part of who he is making me to be? Um, well, Paul has some really helpful things to say in Ephesians 4, verse 22. He, he's talking about the life we're learning in Christ And he says that life looks like this, to put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and to put on the new self, created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. So three things Paul says there. He says, put off your old self, the the things that are a part of that former manner of life, And be renewed in the spirit of your minds. That's letting the truths of the gospel of who Christ is and our new identity in him. Those things Paul's talked about in Ephesians 1, 2, and 3. Let those things shape your heart and your desires. And then put on the new self. This new creation that God is making you into being who bears his image and reflects him. Put on behaviors that help you practice new creation. So three things that all are crucial in this process of being transformed by the Spirit of God. And Paul then gets really practical in the following verses where he gives examples of what that looks like. Uh, one of my favorites is in verse 28 where he says, let the thief no longer steal. That's, that's putting off. Don't be a taker who uses others selfishly for your own advantage anymore. Stop that. Put that off. That's not who you are anymore. Then he says, but rather... Let him labor doing honest work with his own hands. That's the put on piece. That's treating, working hard, doing something different, practicing a different style of life. But, but the really crucial part is this new truth, reality that shapes all of that, which Paul says in the next piece, so that he may have something to share with those in need. That's a whole new outlook on life. No longer do I want to take from others, but I want to share with those in need to be a giver because that's what God is like ultimately. So I'm going to work hard. I'm going to put on getting a job and laboring with my own hands so I can give rather than take. That's radical transformation. That's what the Spirit of God is doing in us. And he does that as we partner with him in putting off being renewed in the spirit of our minds and putting on the new self, which is being created like God. So I'd encourage you to give some thought to those three things and what that might look like in those areas of your lives where God is at work in you. And I'll look forward to talking to you next week.